Welcome to Electra Online, and now it's time for a brand new series in trigonometry called Trigonometric Identities. And that's a big series because there's a lot of relationships between the various trigonometric functions. And so we're going to learn them one at a time, and then we're going to learn how to apply them, and then we're going to learn how to prove them. And in the end, they're really useful to know all the various trigonometric identities because that way you're able to solve a variety of mathematical and scientific like physics types problems using these techniques. All right, we'll start out with some basic ones. So first what we're going to do is we're going to look at what we call reciprocal identities. So in this case, we have the tangent of x, which can be written by the ratio of the sine of x divided by the cosine of x. And the cotangent of x can be written as the cosine of x divided by the sine of x. And yes, we've seen those before, so this is kind of a repeat, but it's all right. It's always good to repeat a few things. And the cosecant of x is 1 divided by the sine of x. And the secant of x is 1 divided by the cosine of x. Now, since the tangent of x is sine divided by cosine, and the cotangent is cosine divided by sine, then we can conclude that the tangent of x can also be written as 1 over the cotangent of x. That means the tangent and the cotangent are reciprocals of each other. The Pythagorean theorem comes from looking at our triangle here. So again, we have a unit circle. The radius is equal to 1. This here, side x, is equal to the cosine of the angle theta. This here, y, is equal to the sine of the angle theta. And of course, we know that since this is a right angle triangle, we can use Pythagorean theorem. We can therefore say that x squared plus y squared is equal to 1 squared. And so since x is equal to the cosine of theta and y is equal to the sine of theta, we can also write this as the cosine square of x plus the sine square of x equals to 1. Now typically you'll see it this written this way instead. You'll see it as the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x equals 1. That seems to be the more common way of writing that equation. And now that is a very, very famous identity used quite a bit. And you'll see that in future videos. Now what if we take this and we divide both sides by let's say the sine of x or the sine square of x. So let's take this one again and we write the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x equals to 1 and now we divide both sides let's say by the sine square of x. Of course if we do it to the left side we have to do exactly the same to the right side and if we do that we end up with 1 plus and the cosine divided by the sine is equal to the cotangent so this becomes the cotangent square of x equals and 1 over the sine is the cosecant so that would be equal to the cosecant square of x and so there's a relationship between the cotangent and the cosecant in that way and then if we do the same thing again but now we divide both sides by the cosine square of x we get something similar so we take the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x equals 1 now we divide both sides of the equation by the cosine square of x So here we get the sine divided by cosine is a tangent, so we get the tangent square of x plus 1 equals, and 1 over the cosine is the secant, so that becomes the secant square of x. So those three equations all come down from this concept that x squared plus y squared equals 1, so that's why we call that the Pythagorean identities. And finally we have what we call the even odd identities. What if we take the sine and the cosine of a negative angle, what happens? Well if we take the sine of a negative angle that is equal to the negative of the sine of the positive angle. But if we do it with the cosine, we can say that the cosine of a negative angle is simply equal to the cosine of the positive angle. And then finally, if we take the tangent, the tangent of a negative angle is equal to minus the tangent of the positive angle. That's of course because the tangent is the sine divided by the cosine. Since the sine becomes negative and the cosine doesn't, of course when you divide negative with a positive you still get a negative and so therefore you have these three identities and so these are called the odd even identities. All right, so those are the basic identities. We'll see some examples of that later on so you can get a little bit more familiar with it. But if you remember those, or memorize them, I should say, not just remember, but memorize those, they will definitely come in handy in the future.